Hi everyone. Welcome back to Voice of Manoj. So today in this video, I am back with a Sri Lankan literary work. The well-known Sri Lankan author Kamala Vijayaratna portrays a victimization or pathetic consequences of war through her poems A Soldier's Why Weep, Monuments and Musical. So I am going to analyze them in detail. The poem A Soldier's Wife Weep, Monuments and Musical, written by the Sri Lankan author Kamala Vijayaratnam, reveals the shocking impact of the long-lasted war in the country. Through these poems, the writer portrays the innocent victims and their sufferings as they were part of the conflicts. I am going to analyze them in details. These three poems commonly explore the impact of the civil war in Sri Lanka. The direct victims of the civil war is disclosed in the poem Musica, while the other two poems describe indirect victims and their sufferings. In the poem Musica, the speaker feels some anxiety about the young soldiers who are going to sacrifice their lives for the country and the uncertainty of the soldiers, while the poem Monuments talks about the pathetic condition of the parents who lost their soldier sons in the battlefield. It is similar to the poem A Soldier's Wife Weep, where the speaker talks about the suffering and worries of a widow who lost her soldier husband in the war zone. The poem A Soldier's Wife Weep narrates in the first person point of view and the speaker is at home, the poem starts with a flashback that her husband is returning over the vacation. Quotation I watched until you disappear over the bench, and long after until my breast gave a great half. Through these lines, the writer expresses the wife's true feelings of her husband, is leaving from her, and also the poet has used simple past tense to talk about the past events that recalls the flashback. Further, these two lines disclose how the separation between the husband and wife affect them psychologically. Similarly, the poem Monuments describes how parents lost and suffer their young children in the war zone. The poet is traveling in a bus and witnesses several monuments with a soldier's name curved in them. The poet does not see only one monument, but also repeatedly sees various legends in different bus stands. Quotation, in memory of my son, I got a jolt. Through so these lines, the writer reveals that the pathetic condition of the indirect victims as the soldiers are young. Unlikely, their parents get a way to make a tribute to their sons. The Dixon son highlights that the monument was made by his parents. It shows the indirect victim's pathetic condition. In the world order, parents don't wish to see their children's death. But in this case, it is paradoxical to the society and also the writer has used capitalization through the lines to emphasize the pathetic impact of the war and suffering of the parents. On the other hand, the poem musical talks about the direct victims in the war zone. Even though the title shows the pleasant feeling, the subject of the poem is sadness. It is evident when the speaker says, a long line of caged parents. I saw one day in a pet shop. Through these lines, the writer pictures the reality of young soldiers in their existence. Further, it indicates how they were restricted from their freedom. She has symbolically refers to the soldiers to the caged peril. And also, the Dixon one day recalls an incident the speaker encountered one day in a pet shop which indicates the effectiveness of the flashback technique in the poem. 
Further, the Dixon Cage brings out the theme of liberation and freedom of the soldiers effectively. Moreover, the reputation of the term, the tracks trundled to the north, emphasizes the risk in the battlefield, where the soldiers are heading towards it. The Dixon North symbolically refers to the war zone, and also the writer shows that they are going to the battlefield without any fear. It shows the bravery of the youth in the society. However, it is interesting that the speaker prays for both sides who involved in the battlefield. In closing, Kamala Vijayaratna criticizes the war which destroyed both lives of the soldier who are directly involved in the war and also the lives of their beloved one who are indirectly involved in the war through these three poems. Thank you.